What's up, guys? It's Pete, cryingsystems.com, had a train for mudruns.com. Hope you guys are doing great. The weekend was fantastic. Um, hit up the Warrior Challenge this weekend after like a three day seminar. Uh, it was really great. You know, we did a lot of them, but I'm really tight right now. A lot of sitting down throughout the day, educating myself, learning. But at that, you know, your hips get really tight, my glutes got really tight. Now I'm paying for it because I'm fucking tight right now. I can't even lift my knee up, but I crushed it. I know I could have did better, but hey, what are you going to do? Next year is next year. Definitely going to train better for it and hit it up. Um, but while doing that, as I examined myself and I assessed, self-assessed myself, I'll never forget the times I was in grammar school, middle school, high school. When high school, I started to be able to do it. But in middle school, we had to take the physical fitness tests. And um, we had to do, or even grammar school, physical fitness tests, I had to do pull-ups. And um, in the day, guys still had to do the pull-ups. Girls just did that chin-up hold. And I knew I couldn't do it. I knew I couldn't do a fucking pull-up. So I remember, I think it was sixth grade, I grabbed onto the bar, and I just started pulling as hard as I can. But I had this plan that I would spit this piece of gum out of my mouth. And then everyone would laugh and then i just fall down. And that's exactly what I did because instead of saving myself the embarrassment and putting all it onto a negative that, hey, Pete can't do a pull-up, instead of be like, hey, Pete, check it out, Pete's gum flew out of his mouth. And that was, that's what went through my head. I remember that because I was like, I know I can't do my fucking pull-up. This girl did three. I could do um, a finger hold and then I could just fall. I could pretty much just touch the bar and then just drop down to the ground. And I knew that girl was going to uh, do better than me. So my plan was to spit gum. I don't know what point or why that became a good idea in my head. But that's what I did. I just grabbed onto the bar. Like, all right, Pete Isip. I was like, all right, here I go. I jumped up onto the bar. They pulled the chair from underneath me. And I just pretended to spit gum into the air because I was trying so hard. And uh, that was that saved me the embarrassment. I think in my head. I mean, some of the kids could be like, that fat fuck, he can't even pull himself up over the bar. He's a hundred and a million pounds, and he's 11 years old. So, you know, you think about those moments, and then then I do the Warrior Challenge, and I'm hitting 17, 20 pull-ups strict. No kip, that means no rocking, no hips, strict pull-ups, dead hang, fully counted. I did them right, full extension, full lock. I had a tough judge. I know I did them right, and this makes me think that, like, holy shit, man, I did them. I, I've come a long way. Same thing in middle school when we do rope climbs. I remember I was just happy hanging on to the, hanging on to the rope for like ten seconds, and that counted as points because I couldn't even fucking climb that shit. Now I could scale up twenty foot things, man. It just show, goes to show that you know, just because you couldn't do it back then doesn't mean you can't do it now. All right, you got to work at it. You got to progress it. You got to move towards it. And that's uh, the message that I got out of that. I was like, a couple years ago, there's no way in shit in hell I'd be able to do that. But today, I'm doing it. Same thing, we had a guy named Ricardo, and he was running with us. He's another strength coach. He's out in Pennsylvania. He's from Puerto Rico. Internet guy. And um, he lost himself. He's out of shape, really lost himself. But he made the goal to finish this thing. And now, we did not let him finish by himself. We all finished up our mile with the sandbag run and he was still on like his you know, three quarters of a mile. So I had another lap to go. We all fucking joined him. We grabbed him by the fucking shirt and we let, we jogged with him. We stayed with him the entire time. We helped him push. And a year ago, three months ago, he wouldn't have been able to do that. If he was by himself, he wasn't he wouldn't have been able to do any of that. And we're really proud of him for that because he showed a lot of heart and a lot of guts because I know it's easy to quit and it's easy to stop. But he didn't stop. He didn't let himself stop because he set a goal that he wanted to finish. He set a goal that we wanted him to finish. And I'm not going to let you guys down. He's not going to let you guys down. Your family shouldn't let you down. No one should be fucking talking shit about why you're working out or why you're dieting. The reason they do is because they fucking hate you and they fucking are jealous that you're doing something good for yourself and they're not. All right? So whatever people say, I don't know where that rant did some of these things, but... I'm out of here. This is Pete, cranksystem.com. It's sunny out. Be careful. My face is so bloated. I'll see you later.